Brooks Running has a new shoe for you runners out there. Did you hear that? Better turn up your volume. In fact, turn it up to the max. Introducing the all-new Ghost Max. It's got all kinds of things to make your knees and ankles feel protected, like Max Cushion, Max Soft Landings with DNA Loft V2 Foam, and Max Smooth Rides with their Glide Roll Rocker. Feel better on your run with Ghost Max. Learn more at brooksrunning.com. This episode is brought to you by the Weather Channel app. Did you know the app can help you forecast more than just the weather? With allergy tracking and flu risk mapping. So you know when to stay inside and load up on podcast, As well as air quality and UV indexing. So you know when to get outside, load up on sunscreen and podcast. Forecast more of what you love with the Weather Channel app. Holistic Voice presents the Food Heals podcast with your hosts, Alison Melody and Susie Hardy. Join the Food Heals Nation and learn the secrets to go from feeling unwell to healing yourself. Warning, side effects of this podcast may include increased health and vitality, thoughts of living longer, an increase in sexual activity, feelings of joy, cravings for kale and quinoa, and a spike in Tinder matches. In real cases, women have experienced a strong desire to stop asking their boyfriends if they look fat and stress. If you experience any of these symptoms, post a selfie to Instagram immediately. All right, welcome, Food Heals Nation. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Allison Melody. Coming at you from under a blanket, and I'm in my new podcast studio. Yay! But there's no carpet. It's extremely echoey. It is not soundproof at all. There's not a lick of furniture except a desk and a chair and a microphone. So I apologize for the echo, and I'm trying to do the best I can to make it better by recording from under this blanket. Forgive me, Um, because I want to bring you some great content. So today is going to be really fun. We've got a lot to cover. This is an episode of Ask Ali, so I'll be answering all your questions. And I invited some special guests on the show to answer a couple of them. Then I'm going to share some stories with you, some personal stories about my trip to Tallinn. Then I've got some updates on my Nashville move, my censorship debacle, how you can win a swag bag. And finally, I'll be sharing the story of when I was recently attacked in a Facebook group. Stay tuned for that. This is going to be fun. Roll it, Roxy. The Food Hills Podcast starts now. Welcome to Ask Alley Undercover Edition, because I'm coming at you from under the covers. <laughs> I'm at a desk, <laughs> under a blanket. Okay, this is how we roll now, you guys. So I will have furniture soon and a rug, and I'll um, get it as soundproof as possible so it doesn't echo this bad. Anyways, um, so I got some questions that have come through my email, through my DMs, and if you have a question that you want to submit for Ask Ali, please, please, please post it in the Facebook group. The Facebook group is at foodhealsgroup.com, or you can just go to Facebook and search for Food Heals Nation and ask your question there. That way, more people can see your question and my answer, because a lot of times I get the same questions over and over. So that's kind of a great way for more people that have your same question to see the answer as well. Of course, if it's super personal and you want to remain anonymous, then just DM it to me and then I won't use your name. So that's what happens with some of these questions. But like the first one, a lot of people have had and then later it's very personal. So you'll see when we get into it. All right. So the first question a lot of you have had, but this came through a DM just asking what kind of toothpaste I use. You know, um, I don't use commercial toothpaste. I use baking soda tooth powder. Uh, The brand that I prefer is called EcoDent. I also like to make it myself and Susie, one of my besties and an OG from Food Heals, OG original co-host, talked about this on an episode hundreds of episodes ago. So if you're a new listener, there's no way you've probably heard this one. Uh, But she talks about her recipe for her own baking soda toothpaste. Both of us use EcoDent or EcoDent, however you want to say it. Um, I just order it from Amazon in bulk. Uh, You can get it at stores as well. Uh, That's my favorite. It remineralizes the teeth. And when I have time, I like to play around with making recipes as well. So I wanted Susie to share hers. And also, we talk about the Comfrey Root mouthwash uh, that I still do to this day. So all of the information that we talked about hundreds of episodes ago, which is probably, you know, four years ago, uh, is still completely relevant today. So let's roll the clip. Roll it, Roxy. recipe is continuing to evolve because the one that I originally mentioned, oh God, over probably 150 episodes ago <laughs> uh, has, has morphed, has shifted because I've improved upon it. And truth be told, you know, I buy Echodent 
I love it. I think it tastes great and it's effective. You know, it's baking soda, tooth powder. You can find it in Whole Foods. Um, you can find it in any natural food store. Vitamin Shop has it. You can find it online on Amazon. Mm-hmm. I love it. I bought one bottle, last me like six months, but I am being very active in the kitchen and I've been playing around with my tooth, uh, tooth powder recipe. And this is super easy to make. It's super cheap. And you can kind of custom tailor it to yourself. So Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to start with half a cup of baking soda. And that's the main ingredient. Baking soda works to clean your teeth. It's a very mild, mild abrasive. It's a very gentle way to physically clean your teeth with your toothbrush. But then the really important part about it is that it makes your mouth alkaline. And bacteria, which cause cavities, cannot grow in an alkaline environment. They cannot create cavities. It also enables, and so what that does is it kind of neutralizes the acids in your mouth and gives your body a chance, it gives your mouth a chance to remineralize your teeth if you have enough calcium in your body. Actually, if you have enough calcium in your saliva, that is how your teeth remineralize. So you're going to add three tablespoons of calcium carbonate powder, and this is mm-hmm. not something I had in the last recipe, to the baking soda. Now, if you don't need fanciness, that's enough. That's enough to clean your teeth and remineralize at the same time. Now, mm-hmm. most people like, uh, especially if you're, if you're switching over from standard commercial toothpaste, which I hope you are going to get rid of that, <laughs> yes, <laughs> to, something, to a natural tooth powder, you can totally fancy it up and make it taste a lot better. But you can start with that. That's, that's the simple recipe. Half a cup of baking soda, three tablespoons calcium carbonate. Whisk that up. You're going to put it in a glass container. Now, you're going to wet your toothbrush. And sprinkle the powder on. You can put yeah. the, um, you can get a you know specific container for this. Because if you can dip it in, it's not going to ruin it. Um, but what it's going to do is create clumps in your baking soda uh, powder. So that next, mm-hmm. you know, eventually you're going to have one big clump because you're, you're introducing a little bit of water in there. It's totally fine. But just for ease, you want to sprinkle it onto the toothbrush. Either put it in a little spice jar or a little pourable jar. And that's the basic recipe. To get fancier, you're going to uh, take one-eighth of a cup Himalayan salt, whirled down to a very fine powder, and this actually is going to tighten your gums, and it's also antimicrobial. It's going to help kill the bacteria. It's going to help that envi- keeping that environment in a very cavity-free zone. And then beyond that, you can add flavoring. Now, you can add 10 to 20 drops of the essential oil of your choice, Uh, Ones I I recommend Young Living. You want a therapeutic grade. You don't want something that's been cut with like a a, a filler oil. You can use peppermint or spearmint. You can use cinnamon, lemon, orange, grapefruit, clove. Uh, Clove is great if you have any kind of pain in your teeth. And you can combine these. You can do a peppermint lemon or you can do a cinnamon grapefruit. You know, you can get super fancy. (laughs) Yeah. Now, here's something else I just discovered. You can also... You can use the essential oils by themselves, or you can use them in conjunction with a dried herb of your choice, such as mint. I just I had some extra uh, peppermint that dried out on me. I bought it at the farmer's market, and I just totally chopped it up. You can also put it in your little spice grinder or your blender to make it very, very fine. You can use sage. Uh, you can use parsley. Any of these are just going to help bring a more mm, natural earthiness to uh, <laughs> to your tooth powder. Um <laughs> You can also use lavender. You can get, you know, you can get a little bit experimental on this. And then, like Ali said, if you want sweetness in your tooth powder, use xylitol. Xylitol is actually good for your teeth. Uh, I know, which is crazy because it looks like sugar mm-hmm. and it tastes like sugar, but it's mm-hmm. good for your teeth. It's, it's good actually for your mouth. also antimicrobial. It also kills bacteria. So you can add up to a tablespoon. And like I said, this is not a perfect recipe. So if you're going to experiment here. You can just add a little bit, taste it. If you want more, you can always add more. You just can't take it away. Oh, I didn't say how much. You can put like a tablespoon of these dried herbs chopped up. If, if you add the xylitol, it will be sweet, but it's still going to have sort of a saltiness to it. And that's just the way baking soda by itself is very salty. So that's why mm-hmm. we don't use quite as much salt. And then beyond that, and I could talk about this forever. You guys know how I love teeth. Uh, make sure you floss that's very important and if you have any kind of gum recession my uh, recipe for gum recession is to get yourself some comfrey root and you can order this online make sure you're getting it from a natural kind of bulk herb store whether that be you know storefront or online comfrey root 
you're going to make a tea from this. You're not going to swallow it. I repeat, I do not want to get emails. Do not swallow this. This is for a <laughs> ma- this is for a mouthwash. If you look up comfrey root, you're not supposed to ingest it. But as a mouthwash, it actually, if you brew a tea, it will help regrow your gums. And I have done this. That is what the one step. And then the second step, gums need vitamin C. You guys know how much I love vitamin C. But <laughs> you should be taking it internally. But to help heal your gums, you can get calcium ascorbate powder. And that's spelled A-S-C-O-R-B-A-T-E. What this is, is vitamin C that has been buffered with calcium. If you took regular vitamin C crystals and put them on your gums, it's not good for your teeth because that can be actually quite acidic. So mm-hmm. you want to get something that's buffered with calcium. It won't harm your teeth. You use that. You wet your finger, dip it into the calcium ascorbate, pat it onto your gums, and let it sit there for as long as you can stand it, you know, a few minutes at a time. These two things together will help regrow your teeth. You will not need gum planing. You will not need surgery to kind of scar, scar your gums. This actually brings your gums back into a position where they should be, and it helps tighten them, and it's lovely. So and That's amazing. <laughs> and you won't need unnecessary tooth surgery. That can be extremely costly, extremely painful, and totally unnecessary in so many cases. Yeah. You know, I had to do a lot of research about this when I got super passionate about teeth because I didn't understand mm-hmm. why the dental industry is still stuck in the Middle Ages. Like, I don't understand if your gums are receding, how they're going to cut into them. That doesn't help them grow back. These are right. two very simple steps that will actually help heal your, your gums and your teeth are also very, very tied to your nutrition. Um, people mm-hmm. get bleeding gums and, well, from not brushing and flossing, but also scurvy would affect your gums because you don't have enough vitamin C. That's mm-hmm. from pirate times. Most people don't have scurvy anymore, but very tied to your nutrition. Your body will pull calcium out of your teeth first if it needs it for muscle function or nerve function before it'll pull it out of your bones because your, your body is always thinking, what can I lose that's extraneous? Well, your hair, your skin, your nails, your teeth, those are kind of on the outside. So it will pull nutrients from your teeth if it doesn't have enough of them. How do you fix this? You take them internally. You take supplements. You make sure you're getting organic fruits and veggies into your diet and then mm-hmm. supplement if you need to. And then these are some things that you can just maintain. And just to um, follow up on this, if anyone is still using conventional toothpaste, I don't want to scare you, but I just want to educate you why you should use this type of um, toothpaste. You should either make your own with Susie's recipe or look into an EcoDent type of natural toothpaste because, you know, there are chemicals and toxic ingredients in our traditional toothpaste that are sold at the drugstore. So... There's something called triclosan, which is an ingredient that is, you know, they sell it as it's antibacterial, right? But guess what? It comes at a steep price because this chemical has been linked to antibiotic resistance and endocrine disruption. So that's one ingredient that you don't want in your toothpaste. But unfortunately, it's in a lot of regular toothpaste brands that you see advertised all the time. There's also sodium lauryl sulfate, which I think everyone knows, you know, you got to get that out of your shampoos, you got to get it out of your home products and everything like that. There's artificial sweeteners like aspartame. And if you don't know about aspartame, look it up because we don't have time. We would have to do a whole nother episode (laughs) to tell you how toxic toxic (laughs) these ingredients are. But just do your research and, you know, know that Susie has done so much research on this. Susie's taught me so much about this. Yeah. And like once you... Here's the thing is that we're taught that these are the things you need to use. If you look back at the history of tooth care, turn of the century, they use baking soda. You know, that's all they needed. Mm -hmm. Um, There's a a world over. There's a lot of other things. There's neem oil in India. There's a lot of different ways to take care of your teeth. But these chemical-laden pastes that foam up really nice and taste very minty are just basically chemical detergents. The foaming action does nothing. Uh, When you brush your teeth with these things, the only way you're removing plaque is by physically brushing it off with your brush. So you could actually use water. Uh, The mintiness, yeah, it's great. You can find a natural mintiness. You can use essential oils or topped up herbs. They're kind of lying to us. They're just, it's not a great way to, it's not a great way to clean your teeth. And you're, you're putting it into your mouth, which absorbs these chemicals into your bloodstream. And you don't need these chemicals. Next question from my emails. Who was the doctor? that you had on talking about aloe vera and what was the discount code. So that was Dr. Haley. Uh, That was from episode 358. It was called The Secret Must Have Food You Didn't Know You Needed to Add to Your Diet with Dr. Michael Haley. And of course, The Secret Must Have Food is aloe vera. I really encourage you to go back and listen to that episode. 
I think aloe vera is one of the most under talked about uh, foods that we should be incorporating into our diet every single day, especially if we're sick or dealing with a chronic degenerative disease. This is something with incredible healing properties for all kinds of things like Crohn's, GERD, diabetes, immune system issues, eczema, psoriasis, all the way from acne to cancer. It really is one of those things worth incorporating, worth paying for. And so if you don't grow it yourself, which you can do, you absolutely can grow it yourself and take it internally that way. Uh, But if you don't, you can get the highest quality, 100% pure, raw, unfiltered aloe vera gel from Dr. Haley from his website at haleynutrition.com and the coupon code is FOODHEALS and you'll get 7% off your order. Um, Go back and listen to that episode if you want to learn more because I I don't think I'm doing aloe vera justice, but um, Dr. Haley certainly does. So go check out that episode again, episode 358. Heels Nation. I'm here with my girl Tina from JustThriveHealth.com. Tina, tell everyone what is vitamin K27 and why is it so important? Oh yeah, I'm so glad you asked that because vitamin K27 is such a critical nutrient. Um, its job in the body is to actually remove calcium from the heart and the arteries where we don't want it, and to put it onto the bone where we do want it. So the Mm. studies on vitamin K are so profound. Um, There was one study, the Rotterdam study, they took 4,800 patients um, over a 10-year period, and they found after consuming just 45 micrograms of vitamin K2 daily, there was a 50% reduction in arterial calcification. Um, This is the number one risk for heart disease, Um, a 50% reduction in cardiovascular death, and a 25% reduction in all-cause mortality as compared to people with low intakes of vitamin K27. Um, We also know that it's been great for bone health. There's a lot of studies on osteoporosis and other bone diseases showing how um, vitamin K27 has been a critical component in um, helping support our bone health. So um, really, really important for heart health and bone health, also for nerve health. Um, lots of, I mean, vitamin K is such a magical nutrient and the studies are so profound on this nutrient. It's, it's amazing that more people don't know about it. You know, I was just thinking that no one's talking about this, so I'm so glad that we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it's really, really, an, a really in critical and important vitamin. All right, so Food Heals Nation, go get your vitamin K27. It's all at justthrivehealth.com, and you can use the coupon code FOODHEALS15, and you'll save 15% off your order. Thank you for that generous discount, Tina. I really appreciate it. You bet. Thanks, Allison. All right, the next question I bet a lot of you can relate to. I certainly can because I remember having um, conversations like this with my father. Um, So the question is, My sister and I have been arguing about health, and she truly believes that things just happen to people, like cancer just happens, getting colds just happens. I have tried to tell her lovingly that it is her diet and lifestyle and emotions that is also a big reason that she and her family continuously get sick. No joke, these kids are sick all of the time. I told her to check out a functional medicine doctor, as you always say, and she said her MD is just fine. Her MD, that is, that pops them pills nonstop. I have tried to explain to her that disease doesn't just happen to people, and there is always a true deep cause, but she doesn't listen. And then I get frustrated, and so I'm just unable to help her. Could you help me out with some facts or stats or talking points to really help me explain it to her? Or do you have any podcast episodes you can recommend that talk about the difference between Western medicine and functional medicine and how disease actually begins? Well, I can relate to this so much because this is literally what I went through when I was discovering holistic health and um, my dad was sick with cancer and um, he really believed that the doctor in the white coat was his only answer and what he said was the word of God, you know, and there was no green juice about it. And so when I was in the kitchen making him garlic 
garlic shakes, shakes and telling him, you know, change your diet, change your lifestyle, change your mindset. He didn't want to hear it. And I, I just want to say that, um, sometimes you're not going to be able to get through to people. And, um, one of the hardest things I ever personally had to do was accept my father's decision. He sat me down and he said, I don't believe in this. So if I don't believe in it, it's not going to work for me anyway. So I just say that because I want everyone to know that sometimes all you can do is lead by example. And when people see you living so healthfully and anti-aging and being full of energy, then they ask you, what's your secret? And that's when you can share. And sometimes people aren't going to be able to hear you. Now, that being said, I truly hope that your sister will be able to hear you. And so I think the best person to answer this question is Dr. Stephen Cabral. He is coming back on the show soon, but um, I wanted to get your question answered sooner rather than later. And I was like, I know Dr. Cabral talks about this. So I went back and found a clip from an old episode. I think it was episode 201. And he answers this question so perfectly. So what you could do is listen to that and then put it in your own words, or you could send her the episode if you think she would listen. Again, it's episode 201 with Dr. Stephen Cabral. He also has his own show called The Cabral Concept. So those are some places to start. Um, And, you know, one thing that Dr. Cabral says, and so many doctors say when they come on this show, is that what disease is, all diseases, is either a result of toxicity or deficiency. I remember Dr. Group just came on the show and said that um, back in 2021 on his episode, and I've just heard this over and over again, and so that's a great place, I think, to start when you're explaining, well, disease comes because we're overburdened with toxins, which um, Dr. Cabral calls the rain barrel effect, also the name of his book. That might be another good resource for you to check out. Or deficiency, so because of the food that we're consuming and because of the lack of minerals in our soil and us not being up to date on the latest nutrition or getting all the nutrition that we need in a day, these are two of the factors that are leading to disease, that are leading to colds, to sickness, to cancer, right? And so I'm going to let a doctor explain this way better than I can, but that is truly a good place to start. And I love this clip because he literally answers your entire question because he talks about the difference between the Western medical model and functional medicine as well and how they can work together. So they don't have to be at odds with each other. It doesn't have to be this or that. You can have a lot of different doctors um, helping you heal yourself, right? With their varying perspectives. And you can take a little bit from here and a little bit from there and create the perfect health plan for you. All right, let's roll the clip. Roll it, Roxy. There's one thing that you say, and you've been here before, so for anyone who's listening, go back and listen to his first episode where we really cover your story of healing yourself and how all of these doctors couldn't figure out what's wrong with you, and that's how you discovered alternative medicine and multiple modalities of healing, so please go back and listen to that episode. But what I love that you say is that there can't be any ego in medicine. Can you tell us what that means? Yeah, that that's actually a huge thing for me to this day because a lot of times you'll get medical doctors who are brilliant, right? They're brilliant, but they really are against any form of natural medicine. Even though the research, hundreds of thousands of studies, prove that vitamin deficiencies or toxicities such as estrogen-based metabolites, excess, that these are real things that the body has to deal with. So essentially, the way that people get sick is they either have some type of deficiency or they have some type of toxicity. That's essentially it. I know that that's at its simplest form, but if we can replace the deficiencies, which are the amino acids, their proteins, their essential fatty acids, vitamins, and minerals, if we can replace what they're missing and we can start to remove those toxicities, whether it be excess hormones or you know BPA-based plastics, anything that can affect the body, we can essentially heal anything that's out there right now. So in my opinion, I think it would be a great world if everyone could have an MD as well as a natural-based practitioner, whether it's an ND or a great chiropractor or a great uh, functional medicine doctor. So that's why I believe that um, there's, there's enough space for everyone in this field. I totally agree. And I do have multiple doctors and they all serve a perfect function to help me with my total wellness. Agreed. And well, the truth is this, right? So a medical doctor doesn't go to school to help chronic-based diseases. And we call it disease of the body because that's all it is, your your symptoms. So if you have rheumatoid arthritis or Hashimoto's or an autoimmune-based issue, those are all symptoms. So when you're given a prescription to treat the symptom, you're never going to get better. And the goal of conventional medicine is never to get better. Like you're just going to be on a medication. If you have high cholesterol, you'll never get off a statin ever. So then in that, those are all chronic-based illnesses, joint pain, migraines. 
So your job then is to find a natural health practitioner that was trained in how to look for the underlying root causes. Because a medical doctor, that's not their schooling, right? So we can't ask them to find the underlying root causes. Their job is in acute-based circumstance. Let's say someone's suicidal. Well, in that case, does antidepressants make sense? Yes. Like that makes total sense. Or what if you're having a heart attack? Do you want to go to your natural health practitioner or do you want to go to the emergency room? You go to the emergency room, right? So we're looking at acute-based versus chronic-based. And so that's why I just believe there's enough room for everybody. I mean, this is so eye-opening because obviously you're preaching to the choir with Leslie and I, but I am, was the person who did not have any concept of this or any understanding of this. If we are suffering from chronic disease, the body can heal itself if given the tools it needs to do so, but we don't always know how to give it the tools and very often drugs and medication and all these things are not the tools. So what are some of the tools that you help provide for your clients that helps them actually overcome something that they've been told they're going to have for the rest of their lives? Sure. And that, that's the issue issue is that in the short term, the drugs actually make you to feel better. I mean, they, they really fill a need that your body is off, like it's off balance. So we always look at it as like a teeter-totter, right? So it's always trying to find homeostasis or equilibrium. But in the long run, those drugs don't work anymore. They really don't. The statins stop working or the antidepressants stop working. And so then what do you do? Well, you switch to a different drug or you make it stronger. But what happened is the whole time you're creating a deeper imbalance in the body. So really, I mean, you have to look at, okay, short term, do whatever you need, but in the long term, you need to fix this. So what we do is something called functional medicine testing. So right now, when you go to your MD, you're going to do blood work, which is great. I mean, run your annual blood work, but I did a show on this, why running your annual blood work isn't enough. And it's because it does not look at the free hormones. Typically, you're never testing those. For women, there's a lot of estrogen dominance out there, and it's causing lowered mood. It's causing weight gain, more like puffiness of the body rather than just body fat itself. It's causing acne. It's like all of these different things, and that's related to what's called estrogen dominance. And that happens when the body's too stressed. We start to raise cortisol levels up, and what happens is it starts to steal progesterone, right? So estrogen stays normal. Progesterone lowers. You get all of the symptoms of estrogen imbalance. So what we can do is we can actually test those things, right? So we can test that. We can look at cortisol. All, we can look at thyroid. A lot of people right now are dealing with thyroid-based issues. Very, very common in my practice. The problem is that thyroid is almost always secondary to your stress hormones because it's metabolism-based, right? So if you're stressed, your body thinks you're in fight or flight. It thinks it's in a survival-based situation. It's going to lower metabolism because it wants you to survive on less calories. It's going to basically conserve circulation so you get cold hands, get cold feet. Like All of this is normal. This is how the body is supposed to operate. But if you run the fa functional medicine tests, uh, if you do things like looking at your gut, if you have digestive-based issues, well, we can see if there's candida overgrowth, there's small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, there's H. pylori. And again, I, I really believe that if people are willing to go to that level, they can figure out anything that's wrong with them. I'm speechless. <laughs> What's you got? <laughs> well, I 100% I totally agree. And I also have been told that blood tests are really a slice of your normal year. And it, your blood looks very different at different times of your life, depending on stress, what you're eating, how you're feeling that day. And so it, you can't take one blood test and find the finite answer for everything that's wrong with you. Is that correct? Yeah, that's actually a really good point to bring up is that you actually, and a lot of people don't know this, when you run your blood work, you should run it between eight and 10 in the morning. So if you just had two meals and you had a you know, sandwich or piece of pizza and you go test your cholesterol, it's going to be quite high. Mm, yeah. but, Especially if there was meat in that. Uh, abs <laughs> absolutely, right? Um, and so we, we look, we always test the hormones in the morning. Um, that, that's just one. But the other thing, just like you said, it's blood is a homeostatic fluid, which means that it will literally rob from your tissues to get what it needs in terms of minerals or literally whatever that it needs. So the problem is this, is that the outside is suffering, the tissues are suffering, and the blood still looks good. So if you wait till your blood works off and you actually get then diagnosed with the disease, it was years in the making. So when I talk about my book called The Rain Barrel Effect, what I'm talking about is it's just over years these things are building up. So it's the lack of sleep, it's the stress, it's the you know going to grad school or starting a family. Uh, it's all of those things. And then it's eating poorly. And then one day you start to overflow and that's when you see the symptoms. That's when the blood work is off. But if you had looked before that, you would have seen all of the different things building up. And the only way, of course, to reverse that is then, as we say, to empty that rain barrel is to start to pull things out. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Switch over to your book. Tell us about the rain barrel effect. So the rain barrel effect is essentially how I practice. And so that's what we're talking about right now. The first half is how we got here. And what it is, is it's the accumulation. So a lot of times we want for nothing, right? We have 
for the most of us in industrialized, the industrialized world, we have all the food we want. We have alcohol, we have antibiotics, we have all the drugs, we have all these different things, but we're also very stressed. So we have the lack of sleep, which then again, raises the stress hormones. So it's this gradually filling up of a rain barrel, of a bucket. And I was, I was fortunate enough to really find out about this whole thing just in passing when I was in allergist office at about 18, 19 years old. And they said that the only time you get allergies, and that's why we kind of feel it seasonally, is when that barrel's full. Mm -hmm. And so if we're able to decrease the total toxic load, so it's actually called the total toxic load in the body, then we no longer have those symptoms of whatever disease it is. It's why like, you know, sometimes you feel great and sometimes you don't. Well, what's your total toxic load that day? Did you not get sleep the night before? Did you, you know, have one too many drinks, you know, whatever it might be, and you don't feel as well the next day because your body is trying to get back to homeostasis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's trying to empty that rain barrel. Mm -hmm. Food Heals Nation, by now you know that I love traveling with my Organifi green juice packs. They are convenient, easy to use, and full of nutrition and detoxifying herbs, which is just perfect when you're on the go, whether you're on a plane. I I took it to my on my trip to Tallinn. Um, I took it to all my trips to Tulum last year. I had them on the road trip with me when I traveled across the country last year. They're just my go-to easy quick nutrition. And um, you also know that I'm obsessed with ending my day with the Organifi Gold. It's the one that helps me sleep and detoxify while I dream. I love the harmony. I love the glow. And I love how they all serve a purpose. Like glow is their vegan collagen. Gold is specifically designed for sleep, right? So when they come out with a new product, I am over the moon. I get so excited. So let me tell you about their brand new product. It's Organifi's Green Juice Crisp Apple. The crisp apple juice is packed with your favorite adaptogens and superfoods, like the apple juice that you had as a kid, but with a twist, because instead of being loaded with preservatives and sugar, this crisp apple juice is loaded with adaptogens and superfoods. Yes, please. Like, I'm so excited for this. And this is something you can give to the whole family and the kids guilt free right? It's got ashwagandha, moringa, spirulina, chlorella. It's designed to hydrate, energize, and support cortisol balance. It's made with organic, wholesome, hand-picked apples, and it tastes like a fresh, juicy slice in every sip. It's only available for a limited time, so go check it out and take the meh out of your mornings with green juice, apple crisp from Organifi. Go to Organifi.com slash Food Heals and use the coupon code Food Heals for 20% off your order. That's O-R-G-A-N-I-F-I dot com slash Food Heals and use code Food Heals for 20% off your order. All right. So for the next question, I had to bring in the big guns. You guys know her. JJ Flazanes, please remind Food Heals Nation a little bit about who you are and what you do. I'm an empowerment strategist, host of Many podcasts, but more specifically, the biggest, the most favorite is Spirit, Purpose, and Energy. And I help people heal emotions and disease through looking at their emotions and under a holistic umbrella of everything, mind, body, and soul. So this question came in, and I love this question, and I think a lot of people can relate to this question. And it's detailed and nuanced and complex, and um, I changed the name to protect her privacy, but I wanted to bring it to you because it is your area of expertise, and I thought between the two of us, we could give some really solid advice. So Andrea says, I am really struggling with manifesting. I'm a pretty positive person, and I do not want to play the victim, but it, it just seems that bad things are continuously happening to me no matter what I do. I am facing financial hardship like I've never seen before. My relationship is in shambles. My sweet Pearl, her cat, passed away. And despite, sorry, I'm so sorry for your loss. And despite all of this, I still wake up with a brave face every damn day and yet nothing is getting better. I have heard you talk about gratitude and getting into vibrational alignment with what you want. And it just seems like I am only able to manifest the bare minimum. I am not thriving. I am surviving. I do my gratitude journal. I meditate. I get into the feeling of having what it is that I want, but yet my life stays the same. What am I doing wrong? Do you have any resources or tools for me or past episodes you can recommend? I bet JJ has a bunch of episodes to recommend. I'm going to let her do that. But also like, what do you think, JJ? Yeah, well... I do have a past, a bunch of past episodes, like you said, uh, in terms of this is, so I, I'm going to, I have to give credit where credit is absolutely 100% uh, earned. And that is in the big leap with Gay Hendricks. 
probably in my opinion, his best work and the most profound work in this area, because while he does not do law of attraction and I do, and he does not talk about frequency and vibration and emotion like I do, uh, the big leap is a perfect combination for manifestation because we get to look at, and you can buy the book or the audio. And I've done several shows with him and I break it down in a four step process in my inner circle membership uh, in terms of looking at this book and this work again, which will be free to not free to you, but you know, buy the $12 book or whatever. And um, it's, it's looking at the reasons why we upper limit. So he uses a term called upper limit. I'm going to rephrase that for you. That is basically the temperature of what you allow in. So let's say, we can think of it as heat, but we'll think of it as like the highest temperature, the higher you go, the better you go. The higher you go, the more you allow in. So if your temperature is at 20 degrees, it means you only allow in 20 degrees of success, love, abundance, and joy. As you want more than you have, you have to increase your ability to receive it and then to sustain it. And a lot of time when it comes to manifestation, because I've been teaching love attraction now for, I don't know, how many years? Eight, 10 probably 10, maybe even 15, because I wasn't really getting paid to teach it for a long time. I was just shoving it down everybody's throat who didn't want it because, <laughs> it was, because it was working for me. And I just wanted to tell everybody who would listen because it was working for me. And I understood it. it to me, it was like the only answer to every question ever. And, I know what that's like. <laughs> right. So I, you know, then when, I, when you look at, well, okay, I'm doing all the things to try to feel good. Why am I not getting more? Well, there are four basic beliefs that get in people's way of allowing in more. And I'm going to quickly try to run through them if I can remember them all. But one is feeling fundamentally flawed. And that's basically believing. And, and honestly, I think everybody has that. I think everybody has that to some degree. It's funny when I have clients that say to me, oh, that's not me. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Um, yeah, you have that. Maybe you just aren't aware that you, maybe you're in denial that you have that. But everybody has that uh, to some degree. And again, maybe not everybody, but the other three are the ones that are a little more negotiable because Gay will say that everyone has at least two, maybe sometimes three of these four. So the first one's feeling fundamentally flawed. And then we move to success brings a bigger burden. So if a subconscious belief is if I get more, I'm responsible for more and people want more of me or I have to work harder. So that's one of the beliefs. Uh, the crime of outshining is the third one where you feel like if you you can't be too you know more successful than your parents or your sibling or your spouse because you'll be abandoned and i think the other one has to do with abandonment also like if you're successful people will leave you so that's mm -hmm. a rough that's a rough breakdown of the four beliefs and i could be botching the fourth one uh, but i know that that's the feeling of it because i work with people on this all the time in fact when i interviewed gay i told him i created a worksheet and he's like oh maybe you can send that to me and i'm thinking it's your book you make your own damn worksheet i all i did was take from <laughs> your book what you wrote and put on a piece of damn paper um but i work i work with this with all my clients and everybody uh, definitely on a manifestation path because it, we need to know what the beliefs that cause you to upper limit are. And then another section of the book is looking at how you upper limit. So for instance, worry. Worry is the number one reason people upper limit. And that's, or that's how you upper limit is through worry. So I just want you to take a step back for a second and think about the, the feeling, the, the physical feeling of worry and what worry is. Worry is thinking about the future and it usually causes some kind of physical response, like maybe your stomach gets tight, maybe your heart beats faster, maybe you start to sweat, maybe you start to spin in your mind. Uh, maybe you get start... massive fatigue and you can't do anything else. Great. Okay. And, <laughs> That's why and, apparently is, is it, you didn't know. That? No. Okay. Well, yes. if you think about the body sensation of worry or fear, it's very similar to the body sensation of excitement. The difference is we're telling a different story. When it's worry, we're telling a negative story. And when it's excitement, we're telling a positive story. Both stories have not happened yet. So when you start to worry, it's because you're telling a future story that's bad that hasn't happened yet. So this, is, this would be when to learn how to pivot and use that and transmute that and cultivate that energy that you're creating in your body through the storytelling of something bad happening. And instead of preparing yourself for the worst, Ask yourself, well, what wants to emerge? 
what could I be creating? What do I want to have happen? And learn how to feel that as excitement to create what you want. So when you learn there's other upper limits, like how people upper limit would be to, um, I think, get in fights with people, to uh, deflect, to get sick and get hurt. Get sick and get hurt's a big one. I see it all the time with people who get get sick, whether they get the flu or they get they hurt their, you know, they have a knee pain or back pain. Like they, everything's going really well, and all of a sudden something happens, and that would be an upper limit. That sounds like um, the person who is Andrea who just said this. Like in terms of things are always happening because you're kind of used to them happening. Like you're in your subconscious belief, you kind of believe that nothing's really going to work out for you only to a certain degree. Like I can only be as happy and as, and allow joy, success, love, and abundance at this level. And until we change the belief, until we open up, and I'll tell you, this isn't a one and done. This is a constant process. At every new level of growth, everyone, literally everyone will upper limit somehow. And the game of the game, just like in exercise, when you get stronger, you plateau, time to kick up your plan and change it and either add more weight or do more time or do more sessions or whatever. In order to keep having change, like in exercise, you have to keep adding intensity. Well, same thing with upper limits. You just get used to knowing when they're coming. And then you get to go, oh, that's what that's about. And then you can breathe through it and do what you need to do to expand into because it's uh, scary. When you don't, when you don't think that you actually deserve more than, than you have, or you don't know anybody, I mean, I can be a good example of that. I don't, you know, when you say, I don't know anyone that's cont-, and I don't mean this like in the world. I mean, Allison, you're a great manifester, but I mean, like when I look around at people in my past and I think, well, who's manifesting everything they want? I don't see that many examples of people that get what they want all the time. And it's not like it or are working for it and then achieve it. I see people that are settling for all kinds of stuff and want, always want more and complaining about more. So when right. you have no, when you have no examples of someone doing this well and being able to talk through upper limits, I mean, I do it all the time on my show. I cry all the time on my, I mean, I, I bring people on, they therapy me on my show <laughs> and, and, and I break upper limits and I, I look into the, you know, the, the eyes of the beast, so to speak, in order to get through that next level. So that would be the the one very low cost resource that I would recommend would be the big leap by Gay Hendricks and really take a look at the beliefs that cause you to upper limit because it's not just about feeling good. It's about allowing in more, knowing you deserve it, and then and then changing the patterns, the brain patterns, the neurological patterns that stop you from wanting to, you know, have a car accident, not that you, anyone's going to throw their car over the cliff for this, but I mean, you know, like the little things, like the tire goes out and then you get mad about it, or you see something that little and you blow it up and you're like, see, I told you nothing goes well. I'm always going to, something's always going to happen. You have to right. watch that because it's not as simple as, you know, feel happy, feel good, and then get everything you want. Yeah. And, um, first of all, I mean, that's such a good resource. Thank you. And I knew you were the person. Did I ask you this question? Did I tell you the question before we started? No. Right. Nope. <laughs> Nope. nope. So she she is the person to ask. You guys get that, right? Like you are the go-to because you know it off of the top of your head. And I was thinking about it because normally my advice when someone's having trouble manifesting, because I certainly have had trouble manifesting in my life, um, what was the missing piece for me was not getting into the feeling of already having it, being in the present moment of, oh my gosh, I have that relationship. I have that home. I have that money. I have that job. I have that dog. I have whatever it is that I want. Food Heals Nation, if you're like me, you know that drinking enough water is imperative for our hydration and our detox. And I personally try to drink half my body weight in ounces of water per day. But have you thought about the quality of water that you are drinking? So according to the Environmental Working Group, virtually every home in the U.S. has harmful contaminants in its tap water. So ditch the tap water, ditch the cheap water filters, and check out my favorite water purifier company, AquaTrue. You can visit AquaTrue.com, use the coupon code FOODHEALS for 20% off any AquaTrue purifier. AquaTrue purifiers use a four-stage reverse osmosis purification process, and their countertop purifiers work with no insulation, no plumbing. I set it up myself. Don't worry. It's easy. It removes 15 times more contaminants than ordinary pitcher filters and are specifically designed to combat chemicals like PFAs in our water supply. 
The filters are affordable and long lasting. No changing filters every two to three months. AquaTrue filters last from six months up to two years. AquaTrue comes with a 30 day money back guarantee and even makes a great gift. Today, my listeners will receive 20% off any AquaTrue purifier. Just go to AquaTrue.com, that's A Q U A T R U.com, and enter the code FOODHEALS at checkout. That's 20% off any AquaTrue water purifier when you go to AquaTrue.com and use code FOODHEALS. To attract in my life, and I was writing and journaling and talking about it, but I wasn't ever getting into the feeling. And I think that was a big key missing piece for me. So recently when I had to manifest the house that I'm now in right now, I'm in it. Oh my God, I got it. Like, I cannot believe I got this house Uh, because outside circumstances would tell me I couldn't. Um, There are a hundred either people or single family units moving to Nashville per day. Everything is overpriced. Every single property gets 25 applications in two days of listing on Zillow. So it really is um, off from the outside. It's difficult to get a home right now. Um, People are, if you're trying to buy, people are coming in from New York and LA and paying $50,000 cash over asking. So people that want to buy a house locally are having a really hard time. So I'm looking at all this data and it's telling me, girl, you're not going to get a house here. I'm applying to places and I'm not going to get it because there's 10 people in front of me. Even if I'm super qualified, there's 10 people in front of me. They're going to go in order and I'm not going to get it. So the data and the world is telling me like a story and I have to choose not to believe that story and to manifest this house. And i effing did it. But let me tell you, it was hard because, and I don't want to compare this because this is not a traumatic situation as losing um, your cat or um, losing a relationship or going through a financial hardship. But I just want to share because there are parallels, whatever you're going through, that everything was telling me, you can't do this. This is not going to happen for you. And so I had to act like a full-time job, like I had this house. It wasn't meditate 15 minutes in the morning, think about it at night before you go to bed. It was every second of every day. You're not doing something, you are thinking about you already have that house. And it was a job. I'm not saying it was easy. I was sending love. I was getting into the vibration. I was seeing myself in the home. I was like decorating the home, you know, all of the things that um, before I would just go, well, I hope it happens. Like I I know, you know, I'm qualified or um, maybe there's too many people coming in, but you know, hopefully I get it. Like just like throwing out the dice, like hopefully. And now I'm like, no, I have to declare that it's mine and get into that feeling 24 hours a day when I'm not sleeping or working or doing something to distract me. When my mind is not distracted, I am thinking about the fact that I already have this house and it worked. And I don't know how it worked because I looked at so many properties that became immediately unavailable. And you know what? They weren't for me, but I believe that I manifested this house with my mind. And I'll tell you the rest of the story. The um, property owner said to me as I'm renting, he walked me through the last day after we had already met, I got accepted. He walked me through the last day and he said, you know what, Allison, I don't know if you believe in the Lord, but I believe the Lord sent us to you. And I said, I do believe that too. I mean, how sweet is that? I'm so excited for you because I know the last conversation you shared on your show was talking about how I manifested my dream home. Yes. uh, (laughs) And that's the last time you and I had that conversation. Minus our obviously texting and talking in between uh, since then about said place that you have, which is amazing. So congratulations. No, thank you. And um, I listened to your show about how you and Doug manifested your dream home. And then on my show, you had shared how you did it as well. So I took those tidbits, incorporated them into my own process. And it's like, I just want to say, Andrea, it does work. This shit works. Okay. But let me tell you, I know it doesn't happen overnight and I know we've built up so many walls against it. And now you know about the upper limit. And so like, I know I have upper limits too. I know there are places I haven't gotten because I don't feel worthy of them. Or I have a belief that if I get too big, such and such will happen. If I shine too bright, I'll get judged, right? I'll get taken down. You guys know I've been taken down a lot lately. I have had multiple instances of censorship now from my book on Amazon. I'm not allowed to advertise Uh, Instagram literally yesterday telling me that I 
violated their content uh, policy. Uh, you know, the whole debacle I'm going through with being censored by my software. So I'm getting bigger and the world is telling me not to. And so I have to, you know, figure out what's my limit. Am I holding myself back? Am I going to shine brighter? And it's not easy. I just want to say it's not easy um, to Andrea. And I know you know your real name, but I'm just using a fake name because I want to protect your privacy. But um, JJ, I really appreciate um, what you shared today. And because you are actually... I'm not the person that takes people through these processes. I'd rather learn from you and then go off on my own. But you actually have a course and and coaching programs and your show. You help people in multiple ways. But you have a course that starts today. And you told me that you would have a couple of spots for Food Heals Nation listeners if they wanted to join. Can you tell us about that? Yes. And and she's not kidding. Uh, doors closed yesterday. So on April 5th, the doors closed for people to come into the course. But if you're part of Food Hills Nation, I will make an exception on April 6th, which is today, and possibly even tomorrow, April 7th, you will have missed the first live class, but it is recorded. And the reason that the doors are closing and you really only have like 24 hours to get in if you want to is because of the kind of work that we're doing. And we are doing deeper dives and there is homework from week to week and there is momentum. And so you kind of can't skip around. You have to sort of be there from the beginning. And I want to take all of April to help people go through these processes. So the course is called The Roadmap to Emotional Healing. And just to tell you what it includes off the bat, I mean, you can go to the link that Allison's going to provide in order to see all of the things we're doing from week to week. But we're really looking for your core wounds. Uh, you know, a lot of times people go to therapy and they spend years and years and years literally talking about stories until they somehow piece together a theme <laughs> about what happened when they were little. And, right. uh, and, I, and I have an exercise that you can get to it in an hour. And we can skip all of the years of talking about stories that only make you feel bad. And so we're going to go and find a core wound. That won't be week one. It'll be week two between... So, but we're going to find the core wound. And the reason that's so important is because it's the reason you're where you are now. It's mm. the, it's why when we have a wound of, let's say, not being seen, then you can see patterns through someone's life of why they choose who they choose to marry or to be with or the jobs they choose mm -hmm. in order to get that need met. So it's a pattern that is really woven through your entire life. And until we get to that core wound and then figure out how we're going to heal it. And that's based on many different factors. That's why it's called the roadmap to emotional healing because people's maps are going to be different. What you need will be different than an, another person. So the tools that I may recommend for you might be different than somebody else, depending on what that core wound is and a couple other factors. Okay. So it's a four week course and it will be live one time. If you're hearing this in May of, uh, 2022. Yeah, it will be it will be available also uh on like, you know, on demand basically, like an evergreen course. It will never be live again and the bonuses I'm about to mention will also not be available. So this one-time live course where you get to ask questions and I will stay literally as long as it takes to get people's questions answered. So like 90 minutes to 2 hours and maybe even beyond depending each week on Wednesdays at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, every class is recorded. You also get a one-on-one -on -one session and you can take that with me or one of my trainers. And you also get the anatomy of emotion course, which I have, which can get you started kind of in between sessions. And there'll be other videos already in the course once you get there. So that's the invitation. I know Allison was also offering a bonus, um, one of your courses to go along with it for anyone who was purchasing. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah. So what what's so interesting about when I was um, hearing you talk about the course and you were talking about the modules and everything that was involved, it's so much in alignment with what I teach in Food Freedom. And I know a lot of people who struggle with a lot of what we're talking about when it comes to the judgments and things that we've decided and, and created in our current lives that we can trace back to childhood. A lot of it does have to do with our issues with food. And so once I was able to discover what my issues with food and body shame and all of that was, I put it into a course and I follow a lot of the teachings that you also follow or you have taught me. And so that's all in my course called Food Freedom, which is really all about ending emotional eating, stopping the body shame, and losing the weight for good. Now, it's not a weight loss course. It's not like do these sit-ups and do reduce these calories. It's nothing like that. It's all the emotion. It's all figuring out 
what you figured, what you decided in childhood, going back, giving love to that inner child. It's based, um, you know, the exercise I did at your live event a few years ago, uh, a very similar exercise to that is in this course. So it's really just about going back, healing those core wounds so that you can have food freedom in the present and in the future. And because I've done it, I know that I can, you can do it too with these tools. So practical tools, lessons, exercises, it's a three week course you take in your, at your own pace in your own time. And, um, it's just, it's just so much in alignment with what JJ is doing. And so if you're ready for that as well, you can take it later. You can take it at the same time. It's not a huge time commitment. You watch the courses, you do the exercises just like you're going to do with JJ. So it's very complimentary to what you guys are going to be doing. So absolutely uh, would love to have everyone. It's all over at uh, foodhealsnation.com slash roadmap. And um, if you guys have any questions, you can totally reach out to either of us on Instagram. Um, I'm at Allison Melody TV. JJ, you're at JJ Flizanes. Um, Anything else to add? Um, thank you so much for answering these questions. Anything else before I let you go? Well, can I read that testimonial that you read today on my Instagram? Oh my God, that gave me chills. Yes. So, so, so the reason why I created this course is because I've been working with a lot of cancer patients recently and sort of probably forever now. Uh, so, because, and it's not just cancer. It's anyone that has any kind of disease. So I had someone reach out to me who listens to my show on Monday of last week. And she wrote me, hi, JJ. I recently listened to your podcast episode on inner child work. And I just want to thank you for being so vulnerable. Back in 2016, I was diagnosed with MS. Long story short, it never felt like my truth. After re and after reading a book that changed my life, which was The Divided Mind by Dr. Sarno, and lots mm -hmm. of therapy, including your strengthening your intuition course, I began mm -hmm. having memories of being sexually abused as a child. It has been some of the hardest work I've ever done, but I'm completely healed from all of my MS symptoms. So it's been a thousand percent worth it. And she goes on just to thank me for the show and how it's very empowering and that now she wants to help other people do the same. So that's part of this roadmap to emotional healing. You know, the emotions for most people are the scariest part, but I'm getting people who've had cancer three times or for yeah. seven years who've tried everything else and who now know that this energetic blueprint underneath it all, the emotions, is kind of where the healing is at. Now, and if you're been listening to Allison for a while, um, you probably know that it's kind of where you should start. <laughs> so, uh, and me too, right? I'm like, let's just not even wait till you get sick. If you have patterns, if you don't have what you want, if your life isn't what you want it to be, then it's time to say, well, what is it that I need to address? Because otherwise we keep repeating patterns. This is the only time I'm going to do this class live. And, and there's huge benefit to that because it's also structured to keep you accountable from week to week. And it isn't just, while I have all these DIY courses too, Evergreen, um, that you can just follow along at, at your own pace. Like, you know, we know that accountability really helps you commit. So having the structure of that every week you check in, you show up, you've done your homework and it's spread out over four weeks makes the process and makes you doing it more likely. And, and you have some group support along with that. So if you're interested, please, please, please don't hesitate. Today is when we start. I, I might let you in tomorrow. Pass that, you know, pass that. Check back in May. Uh, follow Allison's link. It'll still go there. It just won't be the live course anymore. And you do get a one-on-one -on -one with me and Anatomy of Emotion course and Allison's Food Heals course. So. Yeah. Thank you so much for all of that. I appreciate this. And that um, testimonial that I had read earlier that you had posted to Instagram really did touch my heart because I always wonder if my mother who had suffered for MS before cancer for years had had these emotional tools, I always wonder would things have gone differently? Would she have been able to heal? What were, I don't know. She never shared with me for the rest of my life. It is a mystery. Like, I don't know what my mother went through in childhood. I don't know. Um, I don't know if there was trauma. I really, to this day, don't know. But when someone passes away from first years and years and years of MS and then cancer, you know, uh, at least JJ and I know there's an emotional component, a component in addition to probably the food and the environmental factors and the toxic whatever. Absolutely. But there's something there. And I just, it just blows my mind and that people are able, it doesn't blow my mind anymore but I still am just touched every time that I hear testimonials like that because we are in control 
of this disease and this body. We know that. That's why I do my show. That's why JJ does her show. You know, mine's more towards nutrition. Hers is more towards emotion, but we both do both and believe in all of the ways, all of the facets of healing. So anyways, I know I'm on a rant, but I just appreciate this conversation so much. And it means a lot to me that you came on to help me answer this question. And I know a bunch of Food Heals Nation members joined. So there will be other Food Heals members if you guys join in um, JJ's course. So that's really exciting. So yeah, foodhealsnation.com slash roadmap. Put in www because I know sometimes the redirects are wonky, but just in, just DM me if you need me. Um, thanks, JJ. <laughs> thanks, Allison. <laughs> All right, Food Heals Nation, you remember last week when we had Kristen on. She is the dietitian at Pendulum Nutrition. You guys loved it. I love the comment that I got on Instagram. Like, I wish that episode was longer. So, so glad you liked it. And I'm sure that you're curious about Pendulum Nutrition and what it has to offer. For example, we talked about the pendulum glucose control, and that is the first and only medical probiotic that is clinically shown to help manage type 2 diabetes when taken with medications. It helps to lower AC1 and manage after meal blood sugar spikes. So I really enjoyed the conversation with Kristen and I learned a lot. I hope you did too. She taught me that over time, people with type 2 diabetes lose the gut bacteria that help them digest fiber and manage blood glucose levels. That's why they created Pendulum Glucose Control. Because for those with type 2 diabetes, very often diet and exercise alone are not enough to manage it. So the best approach actually emphasizes diet exercise, and a healthy gut microbiome. And this connection has been widely recognized now by leading scientists that are studying diabetes, like the American Heart Association, the Mayo Clinic, Johns Hopkins, and more. So if you or someone you love has type 2 diabetes, you can take control of those glucose levels with Pendulum Glucose Control. Use the coupon code FOODHEALS at PendulumLife.com to get 20% off your first month of membership. That is P-E-N-D-U-L-U-M-L-I-F-E dot com. Promo code is FOODHEALS to get 20% off your first month of membership. Everything at Pendulum is formulated and bottled in the U.S. with the highest safety and quality standards. They are non-GMO project verified. So again, PendulumLife.com, 20% off using the coupon code FOODHEALS. When Luca's mom was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease, she ran from doctor's office to doctor's office, getting more and more prescription medicine while her health just got worse, which is exactly what happened to my mom when she first had multiple sclerosis followed by cancer. Every pill introduced a new side effect and every side effect warranted a new pill. It was a vicious cycle with no healing in sight. In Luca's case, his mom found a different route. She found a doctor who specialized in root cause medicine. After 12 months, she completely reversed her autoimmune condition. And her son Luca began to think, why isn't all of medicine this personalized and data driven? And why doesn't everyone have access to this type of information? And that's when he created Index Health. Stories like these remind me of why I do this show, Food Heals Nation, and why I love Index Health, which you can learn more about at indexclinic.com slash foodheals. With Index Health, you get access to board-certified functional medicine trained doctors and functional trained nutritionists who use advanced lab tests to diagnose and treat chronic conditions. All treatment plans are 100% personalized, and doctor appointments are one hour long. They really take the time to deep dive into their patient's health. I only wish that something like Index Health was around when my mom was sick. To schedule your first appointment, visit indexclinic.com slash foodheals. Again, that's indexclinic.com slash foodheals. Food Heals Nation, did you know that Americans spend an average of 90% of their time indoors and take about 20,000 breaths per day? 
According to the EPA, indoor air is two to five times more polluted than outdoor air, and in some cases, this is scary, up to 100 times more polluted. The data shows that air pollution is responsible for nearly 7 million premature deaths globally. That's why it's so important to filter the air in our homes. You remember my story after discovering toxic mold in my home almost a year ago, I realized the importance of having multiple high quality air filters in my home to protect myself, to protect the air that I'm breathing and the air that my beagle Lily is breathing. Think about every everyone in your household, your family members, your roommates, your kids, your cats, your dogs, your pets, right? We have to be so conscious of the air that we're breathing inside, but that's why I'm obsessed with Air Doctor. You can visit airdoctorpro.com, use the code FOODHEALS, and you can get up to 39% off an air purifier. Air Doctor filters out 99.99% of dangerous contaminants and allergens like pollen and pet dander and dust mites and mold and even bacteria and viruses so your lungs don't have to. It's so easy to set up, it's quiet, and I can rest easy knowing I'm breathing cleaner air every day when I'm working from home. If you work from home like me, you've got to filter your air. So head on over to airdoctorpro.com, use the promo code FOODHEALS, and depending on the model you pick, you'll receive up to 39% off or up to $300 off. This is exclusive to Food Heals Nation listeners. You'll also receive a free three-year warranty on any unit, which is an additional $84 value. Check it out by going to A-I-R-D-O-C-T-O-R-P-R-O.com, airdoctorpro.com, and use promo code FOODHEALS. All right, so I promised some personal updates. So I did go to Tallinn uh, last month, and it was incredible, um, but very interesting. I did find all the vegan spots, don't you worry. Uh, But we went to sleep on a United flight and woke up in Germany to to the news that Ukraine had been invaded. So it was really crazy because... All these people were in the airport. Um, The vibe just felt so heavy. And people were watching the TV with their eyes glued to the TVs and people were crying. And I just remember one girl was on the phone and just like crying, kind of screaming into the phone with terror. And it was just really, um, gosh, heavy and sad and scary. And I was like, "Uh, should we continue our trip? Like, what are we getting ourselves into? But everything was fine. And... Tallinn, which is in Estonia, in case you don't know, on the Baltic Sea. Beautiful. Um, But we had to stop in Germany. So the German airport does make you buy their own masks. Um, You know, I know things are changing quickly right now, so maybe that's changed. This was at the beginning of the month, at the beginning, no, sorry, end of February, beginning of March is when I was there. So we had to buy our own masks. Uh, Then we did arrive in Tallinn. And the energy felt lighter than Germany, for sure. But immediately, you know, we were surrounded by what was going on. Everybody was talking about it wherever we were. Stayed in a gorgeous Hilton, very close to Old Town. So Old Town is where all the beautiful architecture is and, you know, all of the beautiful buildings and restaurants and bars and culture and shopping and food and people walking around and that's also where um, all the demonstrations were so there would be thousands of people in the town square so you'd go get lunch and there'd be thousands of people waving flags and speaking and singing and it was all support nothing violent everything beautiful and peaceful and you know everyone was in solidarity so that was kind of nice to see um I found all the vegan food. So uh, we had some amazing vegan food. My favorites were Taibo, Asian, and Troika, Russian. Um, Taibo had a ton of vegan options. I had the vegan curry. It was so good. And they had a coconut mojito that was made with real coconut. So kind of like when you're somewhere tropical and you, you can taste like the coconut cream and the coconut meat, which was great, but not like sugar down and watery like you're at a cheap pool somewhere, you know? That was so good. Um, Troika was so cool. You know, they do traditional Russian dancing, and they're known for this pickle appetizer. And 
I would literally have never had pickle better pickles in my life. Like I don't I don't know what the secret is, but uh, they the pickles come out and they come with traditional vodka shots. So when you order the pickles, you immediately get the vodka shots. Um, and so they they pour the vodka and it's a whole show and there's a dancer and it's just really fun. Um, then the dinner there was the best eggplant I have ever had in my whole life. They really, really took care to cook it like a steak, to marinate it, right? It was just all these delicious veggies intertwined in eggplants, like sheets of eggplant, right? I mean, it was so good. I've got to figure out how to replicate that recipe. It was just really nice. And then the Hilton, the Hilton Tallinn Park. Uh, had a really, really good cauliflower steak as well. Um, they also had a beautiful floor-to-ceiling windows, ambiance. Like, it was just really a great trip. I really enjoyed walking around the Baltic Sea as well. We were in the snow, so it was beautiful snow, um, snow-lined streets while you would watch the seagulls over the Baltic Sea with kids playing. Like, it was just peaceful and beautiful, and I really definitely recommend it. For bars, I loved Butterfly Lounge. We had these espresso martinis probably two or three nights in a row. Uh, they were really good and they do help with jet lag. And the bartenders really took pride in making their drinks and making everything pretty. And they all wear pink. So it's kind of like being at like Pump in West Hollywood, that kind of vibe, uh, which I really liked. Um, everything closes at 11 at that time. Uh, because of COVID still, so um, no crazy late nights or anything like that, which is probably a good thing. But yeah, if you ever have a chance, it's a beautiful place to go visit. You know, I don't know about now with ugh, war going on and everything like that and COVID, but honestly, it was amazing. I would go back in a heartbeat. I really enjoyed it. Next up, you want the tea on the censorship debacle and me getting attacked in a Facebook group. So it was a Facebook group for ladies who use the software that censored me. And you would think it would be a nice group of women supporting women, uh, but it was literally women attacking women. So I will shout out that there were more supporters than haters, but the haters were out of control. I mean, they were awful, 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 awful. And uh, so I had to take, first I posted what happened to me and then they just took it down. And um, then they rewrote in the rules, like, just want to remind everyone in the rules. And I was like, I think this is about me, but I don't know why my post was taken down. I was just trying to share what had happened to me so that it doesn't happen to other people who are using this software to run their business, especially wellness entrepreneurs. Like, I was shocked that my original post was taken down. So then that post got so many responses. All these people were like, we support you and thank you for sharing. I had no idea that this software could censor me. I'm in wellness and I'm in concern. I'm concerned as well. Like, what should I do? And other people were like, here are the precautions I'm taking. So all the support. And then there was three women who just would not stop coming for me. I mean, just like very self-righteous, um, the things that they were saying was that I was making false claims and um, I should be shut down. They were saying I was um, playing the victim and blaming the software when it was truly my fault. And um, they were saying that I should get a new lawyer because my lawyer should have caught this from the beginning. I have the best lawyer ever, P.S. Uh, they were saying that I was spreading false information in the group when I was just sharing what had happened to me. I was even told by more than one person that I was breaking the law. And so basically I was in the wrong and should be held liable. I was like, do y'all understand that all I did was talk about vegetables and vitamins just like I always have? Like, why are you coming for another woman? What is the purpose of this? So what happened was these women were just relentlessly going at me. One of them was one of the moderators for the group. And I was getting heart palpitations because every time I would check the phone, there would be another notification of someone coming for me and arguing against me and trolling with me. So for my own mental health, I had to um, leave the group and take down all my posts. So I left the group, took down the posts because my mental health couldn't handle it. 
I am not, um, I am willing to stand up for what I believe in, but when I'm just being viciously attacked and trolled for trying to share and help people, I'm done. Do you know what I mean? Like I was done. So I took it all down, but not before I screenshotted absolutely everything. So if you want to hear the full story, I'm sharing it on the VIP club. So I'm not going to name names in there, but I will share exactly what was said to me. And you can tell me, make up your own mind uh, what you think. But I think that I was attacked for no reason. I think people are cruel. I think everyone's a keyboard warrior. And I don't want any part of it. I really came to it from a place of love and trying to help other people. And I was so put down and so talked down to like anyone has any idea like what they're talking about it was just absurd like everyone thought they were the government or the, the a lawyer or something um there was no room for conversation it was just shut her down shut her up it was awful and it was hurtful it really hurt my feelings it really gave me heart palpitations and you know it's not a place i want to be so i left i'm gone bye bitches <laughs> So, uh, and it's sad and scary because I have a lot of mutual friends with a couple of the girls, so I'll probably see them at some of my conferences and, you know, I'm not combative. I'm not coming after anyone, but if, if I get introduced to the, a couple of the girls with those names, I don't know what I'm going to say. I'm going to have to walk away because like, I don't want to be friends with them. I don't want to be associated with them. I think they're bullies. There's really a lot of bullying in that group. So done with that. If you want to hear the full story. Uh, go to glow.fm slash food heals. That's where I will share the juice, the tea. That's where I'll spill it. <laughs> um, so that's the latest with the censorship debacle. Actually, there is more. I forgot. Um, I shared a post on Facebook the other day, a reel. So I'm one of the lucky people who's in the reels creator program, which means I get paid when I post reels. Uh, so Instagram pays me uh, based on how many um plays the reel gets and it's not like a dollar per play or one penny per play like you never know what it's going to be no one knows the algorithm and they put in their terms of service or whatever we we change this all the time so what you got last time you may not get this time so there's no hard and fast rule about how much you can make from a reel but I don't mind getting you know a couple hundred bucks from Instagram I know people who are making thousands mine only make a couple hundred bucks um and uh so I posted a reel about the censorship and I got a notice that I had violated Instagram's terms. And so my um, my reel was demonetized. So they didn't take it down, but it was demonetized. And then the reel I posted after that, which should be monetized, which I should be getting paid for. Um, and I've gotten a lot of views on. Like it looks like it might go a mini viral, get some of the most views I've had. And it um, it's, not, it's not monetizing either. So I'm just like, all right. So y'all are just flagging my account now. I guess I can't make money on Instagram anymore. Hopefully I'm wrong. Maybe they'll give it back to me, but that was pretty disappointing. Um, so yeah. And another thing that's happened is I can't advertise my book on Amazon. So, you know, my book food heals is on Amazon and, uh, they said you can't run ads to this because it has misleading claims. I said, what are the misleading claims? You can't say anything heals anything. So I can't literally say food heals. I mean, I am so over this, but I'm going to talk about it much more in the VIP club and interview experts on these subjects way smarter than me in the VIP club to talk about what's going on in the world. Because it's if it's happening to me, little old Allie from Food Heals, it can happen to anyone. And that's the scary part. So more on that in the Food, food Heals VIP club at glow.fm slash food heals. And last but not least, Food Heals Nation, you can still win a swag bag full of my favorite organic vegan products, discounts on services. I've got cute little swag bags ready to ship. I do have some entries. Thank you so much to everyone who has donated to the fundraiser. I appreciate you so much. So everything is over at foodhealsnation.com slash fight censorship. And for every $10, you donate to help me fight creator and podcaster censorship and move my content over to a platform that believes in me, that believes in the power of nutrition, that believes in wellness, that believes in all creators' rights to 
say what they want to say and help people get healthy, which is all we're doing, which is all I'm doing, which is all people like me are doing who are getting censored as well, then yeah, make a donation. Every 10 bucks gets you one entry into the swag bag contest. So 10 bucks is one entry, 20 bucks is another entry, 30 bucks is three entries and so on and so forth. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to those of you who have donated. Every time I see like a donation, I'm like, thank you. This is why I do this. I do have supporters. I do have people that love me and that appreciate me and that believe in the work of Food Heals, that believe in what it is that I'm doing, what it is that I'm putting out there. And so if I've ever helped you in any way, shape or form, I would love a donation today. And hopefully I'll be sending you one of those swag bags because I am cleaning out the swag closet. All right. If you have a question for Ask Allie, please, 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 Post it in the Facebook group at foodhealsgroup.com. If it's super personal and you don't want to, you know, post it in the in the group because you don't want other people to see your name, no problem. Then you can DM it to me at Alice Melody TV or at Food Heals Nation. Both of those I check. Uh, on Instagram, don't do it on Facebook, you guys. I can't keep up with those messages. I just can't. Um, and then I don't see them if we're not friends. So just don't do it on Facebook. Do it on Insta. I see those or please post it in the Facebook group because I feel like they keep coming to all these different places and then I don't remember where to find them. So today I had to like go through and go, where was that? Was it email? Was it Instagram? And they came from like four different places. So if you can put them in the group at foodhealsgroup.com and I'll answer or I'll find someone smarter than me to answer like I did today with JJ. Um, I'm having Dr. Cabral on soon, and so he's going to be answering some of your more um, questions that should be answered by a naturopath, so that's exciting too. I've got amazing episodes coming up. I hope you're as excited as I am. Thank you so much for being on this amazing, crazy, sexy Food Heals journey with me. I love you. See you next time, Food Heals Nation. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This podcast is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Side effects of this podcast may include increased health and vitality, thoughts of living longer, developing a more positive outlook on life. In rare cases, people have experienced a strong desire to actually start using their $39.99 a month gym membership. If you experience any of these symptoms, Snapchat your trainer immediately.